Good morning, beautiful people. <coughs> Excuse me. So I really wanted to do a video with my pretty garden in the background, but the light won't cooperate unless I'm holding my camera all the way up here. So we'll see how long I last. Um, I wanted to talk about today the Whole30. I don't know if any of you have ever heard of it, but it's a diet where you can't eat grains, sugar, dairy, alcohol, and then there's a couple other things like you can't have legumes, so that means like no peanuts, no soybeans, um, well it's not legume, but um, you can't do soy either. No hummus, so you can't do garbanzo beans, no like black beans, so um, people keep asking me, they're like, what do you eat? Well, I eat food. That's the whole point of it. So I really wanted to do this because I've been having a lot of headaches and I just, I just didn't feel right. Like, you know, when you're in your body and everything just kind of feels off and you just, you get like, you're drinking water, you're trying to get sleep, like you think you're eating healthy, but you, you know, you're still having cheese and you're still having, you know, a couple bites of dessert at night, maybe a glass of wine here and there. And so I decided to do this, especially because my best friend did it and she felt really good on it. She really liked the results with it. So I was like, well, okay, why not? Plus, I think what it did mostly for me was it just made me more conscious of what I was eating. So, you know, sometimes when I'd come home from workouts, I'm like, yeah, it's okay, I'm burning the calories. I'm just gonna have a bowl of ice cream, which is not really recovery food. So now, before I go work out, I'm thinking like, okay, what can I have that will digest well, that, you know, isn't too heavy? Um, and I think my training's been really great. Sometimes I used to have issues where I would eat certain foods and <laughs> they would like make me burp. <laughs> um, <laughs> or I would get like really bad stomach issues. It, you know, typical athlete. And since I've been doing this, it's been really great. Like I felt really, really good. And I've been sleeping at night. I haven't had headaches. Um, so I highly recommend it. I mean, I didn't have any problems with withdrawals or a lot of people sometimes get headaches when they first start it, but I pretty much just decided I was gonna do it and committed and I've done it. And thankfully I've had a lot of really supportive people too. Like my best friend's really supportive, my mom has been really supportive and my boyfriend's been really supportive, which has helped a lot because they understand why you're doing it and they encourage you. <laughs> and if they're eating dessert, they'll tell you it's terrible when you know it's really not because they're actually like moaning in between bites. Anyways, that's a different story. Um, so I highly recommend it. If you haven't heard of it, it's by Melissa Hartwig. She is actually from Utah, which is kind of cool. And yeah, I mean, I just went online and I just kind of looked at the guidelines and I was like, okay, let's do it. So what do I eat? Oh my gosh. Okay. This isn't going to last long because my arm is killing me already. Um, I eat a lot of eggs and vegetables and fruit and you know, just real food. Proteins, I like chicken, steak. I have anemia, so a reason to eat more red meat is really good for me. Um, so I also eat a lot of spinach <laughs> and kale, even though that's more vitamin K. Um, and just normal healthy foods. I've eaten a lot of almond butter because I found that I think I, I eat a lot more, actually. I'm eating so much more than I did before this diet. And it's because everything I'm eating is just super clean, not processed, whole foods. And um, so I feel like I'm always hungry, which is kind of nice. So I'm almost eating as much as my six foot six boyfriend, but not quite because it's vegetables <laughs> and salad. Um, but it's really not that hard. I mean, you just do like a little food prep. I've written out meal plans and I've created some breakfasts and just things that I know I can eat at certain times of the day. They're gonna fuel my workouts. And I really enjoyed it. So maybe um, next week I'll post a video of my favorite breakfast that I've created. It's like my breakfast cereal, which is really just a lot of fruit with a lot of coconut milk <laughs> and cinnamon heated up, but it's been really good. Um, so yeah, I just kinda wanted to share that today and it's just such a lovely morning. I couldn't resist getting on and talking to you guys, especially with my pretty garden before it all dies. Winter is coming, my friends. So, happy Friday!